This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash ev9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. I'm Mo Rocca, and I'm excited to announce season four of my podcast, Mobituaries. I've got a whole new bunch of stories to share with you about the most fascinating people and things who are no longer with us. From famous figures who died on the very same day to the things I wish would die, like buffets, all that and much more. Listen to Mobituaries with Mo Rocca wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. Then today's episode, so I wanted to update y'all on the cell phone situation. Um, Yeah, so overall, for those that don't know what's going on, so... A couple of weeks ago, I um, had an issue with my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold um, 4. The phone pretty much broke on me, on its own. That's the crazy part about it. The phone broke on its own. And I know people are going to probably be wondering, like, well, how do you be handling your phone? This is how I handle my phones. Every time when I get a phone, I get the best case that I possibly can get for it. I get me a screen protector, and I keep that phone in my pocket at all times. The only time I can say that I drop a phone on a common basis is when I am in the comfort of my own home, and I am dropping that phone on pure carpet floor. So if a phone breaks from just dropping on pure carpet floor, then that, no. They should not be advertising a phone as the most durable phone on the market. That, to me, is like, nah. I would have just saved my money and bought the phone that I ended up having to get right before I went on a trip. And ended up, like, yeah, being in a situation where it's like, okay, well, it's like, I want to, because I, fam, I was going to go on this vacation and go crazy with souvenirs. I did somewhat. I was, you know, uh, just managed to get me um, some shirts, sweater, and a hoodie. But I'm like, fam, I could have had more. That's the part that upsets me. I could have had more. And I'm like, bro, it's, it's, see, it's stuff like that that's extremely upsetting because I'm like, fam, I could have saved my money. You know, that, and to me, I'm like, no, that's on Samsung. That is 100% on Samsung, the fact that I had to go out and get me a new phone. Then on top of that, my bill uh, from T-Mobile is up. And I'm like, I don't know if this is going to be a, a permanent thing or if it was like a little activation fee. Regardless of whatever the situation is, I'm like, no, Samsung, you guys are some strange individuals to release a phone to the public where I'm, it's either a situation where I'm having to keep constantly giving T-Mobile five bucks for them to fix the phone. They probably gonna be looking at me like, but see, and that's the thing that I had to say that I really do like and appreciate from T-Mobile is that they knew of the issue. They knew that it was a common issue. I wish the guy that had sold me the phone would have told me that that was a common issue because I probably would have never even gotten the phone in the first place. I said, whoa, wait a minute, time out. Flag on the play. We're going to rewind this. We're going to go get an iPhone. So, yeah, that's what I ended up having to do. I went and got uh, an iPhone um, 14 because they had the iPhone. They had, like, a deal going on with the 14s. And I was like, it, it, you know, the 15s, I'm like, unless something happens with this 14, then I'm like, or if I just, you know, have the extra money to go out and get a 15, then I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. But until then i'm like fam i i really don't want to you know jump up and get a phone and i'm like i i thought i was gonna keep this phone that was the whole reason why i had even gotten a samsung galaxy z fold 4 in the first place because i thought it was a phone that i was gonna have for some time so let me overall just tell you guys what that whole situation was so anyways i go into uh t-mobile i explained to the guy what the situation was like hey look I got this phone from here, from this location. I'm not saying that it was you guys that sold me a faulty phone. But overall, Samsung got issues. I don't want this phone no more. Is it possible I can, like, reroute, uh, you know, my services to an iPhone? And I'm like, because I'm not trying to have a phone that's going to keep breaking on me. And I'm having to keep coming up here and get it fixed. 
I'm not trying to do all of that. I'm trying to have a phone because my thing is this. I didn't had an iPhone 4. I kept that iPhone 4 for a while. It didn't um, have no screen issues. I had an iPhone 5C. It didn't have no screen issues. I had an iPhone 6. It didn't have no screen sh- um, issues. <clears throat> Excuse me, issues. iPhone 11. It didn't have no screen issues. Same with the Samsung Galaxy S8, S21 Ultra. I'm trying to think of some other phones that I had. Yeah, I didn't have me some phones, bruh. And I'm th- I'm I'm sitting here trying to figure out. It's like, how is it that this phone being far more expensive? Let Let's just see how much an iPhone four came um cost when it had came out. Hold on for a second. Let me see iPhone four um price when it when released. This phone had cost. There's like the retail price of $199 for a 16 gigabyte model and $299 for a 32 gigabyte model. So that's how much them phones were back then. And you mean to tell me a phone years later that costs a lot more money, $18 to $1900, depending on what gigabytes you get, you mean to tell me that phone broke within a time period? I had the iPhone 4, I think, for like two years. And you mean to tell me I was able, I could have probably still had that phone for like another year, year and a half, depending on, you know, if it was like the services was going to be too slow and unbearable to use and things. But you mean to tell me, and and see, that's the thing, though. That's usually how it is. That's to me, that's a normal thing with technology. Eventually, at a point in time, technology gets old. They're coming out with apps that's more optimized for uh, the newer phones and stuff. I can understand that. That makes sense to me because I'm like, oh, well, if you got are putting these chips in the new phones and then there's these old chips and then there yeah you know like i after when you when you spend time upgrading a pc and then you notice that performance upgrade yeah then you you understand that type of stuff so i was like with me it would have just made sense if i had just kept updating my iphone every two two and a half years or whatever you know and then uh when it starts getting um slow unbearable to use apps are no longer in service on that phone anymore that i'm like oh well then it's time for me to go out and get me a new phone but i'm like fam i shouldn't have to go out and get a new phone because samsung wants to come out with faulty phones where the screen is going to self-destroy itself so for and so if i didn't fully explain what the situation was so the screen has started peeling the inside screen if you guys know how the galaxy z fold on phones look so the phone opens up and it was the inside screen that where it just started peeling and so to explain to you guys the inside screen so the inside screen is like a uh not like a pexy glass but it's like so if you know how like a computer screen feels so i i imagine like the underneath the um, screen protector that's most likely what the material is and then um it has like this pre-installed screen saver or a screen protector but that's the thing though you can't take the screen protector off yourself so some people have and I think now I'm all like, yeah, if I see where the um the screen is peeling, I'm just going to snatch that mess off and be like, hey, can you guys put another one on? Because I, because they, so, so, all right, so it, it, explain it more. So they went ahead and, um, uh, yeah, so they gave me a new iPhone, um, wasn't tripping about it. But now the, the bill, it went from like 150 to 190 And I'm like, fam, that's almost literally almost $200. I'm saying it's like it's something that I know I can pay off, but it's like, fam, why am I? I and so the the issue was was that I was under the um impression that okay, so they had me pay a warranty, the warranty fee, the five bucks to get another Galaxy um Z Fold Four, and I'm thinking to myself like well why not just keep the phone and just you know credit it to my account or you know like i'm saying you guys got a phone i don't need it i'm saying i got me an iphone so i'm gonna see what this situation is with the bill and i'm like if this bill's continuously like 190 something i'm like hey yo wait a minute time out now if i would have known that this bill was gonna be crazy and stuff I, I'm saying, I'm like, that. that's something I'm like, okay, how how can we get this Galaxy Z Fold 4 off of my account and you guys keep it? Because I don't want it. I ain't got no use for it. I'm saying, if I got me an iPhone, and I know I ain't going to probably replace it in my phone until another, like, a uh, year or two like i'm saying like i really don't know i'm like unless this phone starts getting old and it starts messing up like the last iphone that i had then i'm like that'll probably be the only way but until then i'm like i'm chilling with just one phone i don't need two phones i am not kevin gates 
So that's when I'm trying to figure out what's this situation going to be because I'm like, fam, if you guys going to be charging me an arm and a leg for a phone, and I'm like, bruh, keep the phone. I don't want it. So yeah, overall, I'm stuck with another Galaxy Z Fold 4. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. You know, like if the bill is going to be crazy, then I'm like, fam, I look, bruh, I don't want this phone. You guys, y'all can keep it. I'm not like, if I, if I got to be credit, I'm like, look, I, there ain't nothing. I haven't seen. The thing is that the phone's just sitting in my room. It ain't like I'm not doing anything to it. I'm not using it. So I'm going to try to figure out this situation. If I got to talk to a support team or whatever the situation is, but I'm all like, hey, look, y'all can keep the phone. I do not want it, okay? Because I'm like, I'm not, I don't want a phone that's going to break on me. You know, it was a good conversation starter. I remember I was hanging out with my friend. If you guys follow me on Twitch, there's a friend that I talked to on there named Mo. Um, not her real name, but it's like her, her stage name pretty much. <laughs> but anyways, um, but no, overall though, it's like, no, I had, uh, I remember me and her, we were hanging out one day. She saw the phone. It was a good conversation starter. I'm saying, uh, what are some other situations? that I like oh with my um friends and family when I was telling them about the phone it was a good conversation starter we were sitting around talking about phones and stuff I'm saying it was good at the initial moment but then when that phone I'm telling you when that phone screen had just randomly had broke on me I'm saying that's something that I'm like I'm I'm not with I'm I'm not for that you know so that's what I'm saying I'm like Samsung I'm like no nah, that's some messed up stuff where it's like if my bill done went crazy now because Samsung wants to do some old shady stuff with their phones having it where it's like oh because I'm pretty sure that the, the, I don't know if it's the fact that just wouldn't make any sense to me where it's like if it, five dollars like what half of it goes to T-Mobile and then the other half goes to Samsung I no bro I'm like no instead of being petty like that where it's like you guys want to uh, make some money off of people and things no just come out with a phone that works or work around it to where it's like okay if it's a screen um protector that i can take off myself then it should be like that that's how it should be that's how every other phone is why is this phone gotta be different I'm saying, I'm like, that to me, that just don't even make no sense. So, yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, the bill does go down and stuff. I mean, if it doesn't, then I'm, yeah, I'm overall stuck with a high bill and a phone that I don't, I'm, you know what, the thing is this. So, yeah, if the bill don't go down and they're all like, well, you're just pretty much stuck with the phone, I'm going to use the phone. Don't get me wrong. Hey, I'm like, hey, I might not like it, but I'm going to use it for content creating or something. But, you know, I'm going to try to, like, uh, work that situation out and just have it where I'm all like, hey, look, can I just, you know, keep the iPhone and then you guys keep this phone? Like, even if it ain't even credited to my account, but if it's like, if it can, like, make my bill a lot less, then it's like, all right, cool, chill, you know? But, um, yeah, it's like, it's it's one of those things where I'm all like, I, I don't feel like I should be out here. I'm just hoping, like, it was the activation fee because if it was the activation fee, I'm like, okay, well, you know, I had to, I've, I've seen that before where when uh, you get a new phone and they're like, okay, you got to pay for that activation fee. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, cool, chill. But they're all like, no, they, that's going to be your bill from now on. I'm like, bro, I mean, I guess I'm like, I, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that because it's like, I, I wish it would have been told to me. at the. And it's funny because the times where I had went up there, I went up there like, I went up there to get the iPhone, and then I went up there to uh, go get the, um, the the replacement Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, and then I went up there to um, to figure out the situation, because, so no, so that's what had happened, was that, so I paid the $5, then I went back in there the second time, paid another $5, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know why I'm paying an additional five dollars, but I didn't say anything there. It wasn't until the third time I went up there and they were trying to get another five dollars out of me, and I'm like, "Whoa, wait a minute, time out, flag on the play, let's rewind." Why am I giving you guys fifteen dollars when I gave you five dollars for the one um like activation fee? Then I gave you another five dollars. I'm having to give you another five dollars or not activation, but for the replacement and stuff. And then I have to give you five dollars. I'm like, I don't know. It was like a ghost five dollars I gave them the second time. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, time out, hold on, flag on the play. I didn't even want this phone in the first place. So I don't know why I'm paying the fire. I would have understood if I was just paying for the iPhone. But I'm like, fam, I'm out here paying for a phone that I don't even want no more. So that's why I'm all like, bro, I'm telling you, Samsung, it was like, maybe that's what the secondary $5. $5 was for T-Mobile, and then the other was five. The other 5 was for Samsung. And I'm like, look, you know, it's like, and it's nothing on T-Mobile's part. But I, I just found it funny how the third, the three times I went up there, I didn't see that guy that sold me that phone. I was like, I don't know what his situation is, but I'm all like, yeah, bro. I'm like, you could have told me something. 
and I was like, he was sitting there hyping me up, gassing me up, talking about, oh, you're going to be at clubs, showing off um, your phone to the women and things. And I'm all like, okay, well, for one, I'm antisocial, but the way you just put it, I'm all like, hey, you know, like that does. And the th funny thing is, the whole time I had this Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, the only time I would open the phone up, so like if I had like a coupon uh, um, code or something for like, let's say, uh, Game Stops, like I had a $5 off um, code or something, yeah, I would uh, um, open the phone up so they can scan the code better and they're not using the small little screen on the front, but I was like, that was about it, they ain't said nothing about the phone. So I'm saying, I'm all like, yeah, that, that's on some stuff, man, where I'm all like, hey, look, you know, all I know is that I don't plan on buying no more um, folding phones. No folding phones. If I buy a flip phone, I better be 80-something years old, and I'm not um, familiar with the modern uh, or with the technology at that time, all right? But until then, I'm all like, yeah, I think I'm going to just, you know... Go back to the iPhone family. I didn't think I would ever go back after I got that, um, the Z Fold 4. I was all like, oh, I'm done with all phones. I was like, I ain't getting no other phone until I'm all like, I'm just, that. that's it. I'm sticking with the, um, with the Fold. And then, uh, yeah, there was all like the lady, she was telling me, um, even with the first phone, it was like the screen was peeling in the front. And then, yeah, from the second all the way up to the one that I have, the 4, uh, the inside screen was peeling. Most likely, like, I haven't seen nothing with the 5. Uh, but let me see, Z Fold 5 screen, uh, peeling, no, not 4, I, I accidentally, uh, 5, 4, with 4, um, inner screen, does anyone have a problem with peel, bro, it's already peeling on the 5, nah, I'm thinking of buying either the Pixel Fold 2 and 3 lasted about 8 months for me. Samsung placement has been the best. I also have a great experience with a uh, ring key protector. The worst is China non-brand one. They last anywhere for a week to a month. Having had pilling issues with Fold 5 yet, but I have a Samsung Care. Otherwise, I would stick with ring pilling or is paint chipping the inner screen protector. It was already fixed. No, it was not fixed in the four. So here's somebody saying it is. So yeah, that's why that thing got negative two down votes. Because I'm like, it's probably people that had fours. And then, yeah, it was not fixed. They were like, you may encounter this issue once per few years. But not like with the fold three where film stays for only three. Three to four months. Definitely not. My fold fell off um, in the one year mark. Exactly. Same, like That person got ten up votes. There was like, yeah, it's a rare case, but may happen. You still get your replacement cover on a two-year two warranty. But it's like, that's the thing, though, where it's like, no, bro. I'm all like, if I plan on it, should be a lifetime warranty. That's what the situation should be. If I'm out here buying your guys' product, and your guys' product is known for breaking, it should be a lifetime warranty. But that's crazy, so... But yeah, I haven't seen nobody else. That's crazy, though. That dude was talking about, like, oh, it was already fixed with the Fold 4. I'm like, no, it wasn't because I have a Fold 4. And no, I have, t I didn't had two Fold 4s. And I'm like, bro, I mean, it's dope that it's like they replaced the phone. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to have that and stuff. There was all like, no, this uh, person was all like, um, this is uh, screen protector lifting issues on the 5. There's like, does removing, replacing your um, fold screen protector. It was another video and stuff. But yeah, most likely it's going to be situations with the uh, um, the 5 where it's doing the same exact thing. So I don't know, man. But anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you follow me across all social media platforms at T Boss. Thank you guys and peace.